Bend the knee! What's going on everybody? This is Don Willie back at you again. I'm coming to you from Castle Stuckworth to talk to you about everyone's favorite mercenary and sellsword, Sabran of the Blackwater. Now we first come upon Bronn in the Game of Thrones when he just happens to be at the end of the crossroads for Catelyn Stark and Tyrion Lannister's chance meeting there. And, you know, later on he helps fight off some hill tribesmen on the way to the Erie and he stands in for Jamie Lannister at Tyrion's trial by combat when, you know, it's refused for them to wait for Jamie Lannister to come to the Erie. Uh, he becomes one of Tyrion's closest companions throughout the, you know, throughout the story and also throughout the show as well. And he's played by Jerome Flynn. And uh, I think Jerome has done a very great job of playing him. There isn't much that we know about him because we don't really get a background for him other than the fact that he's been a sellsword for a while. Uh, and it's funny because he's one of the few characters who has went from being a nobody to being knighted and in the show he's actually made a lord. Now um, he's supposed to marry Lawless Stalkworth uh, and it's funny because you know he's plotting in order to get this castle back here because uh, you know he's like hey I just got a lordship, and what in the world does a lordship mean without a castle? Uh, unfortunately, you know, someone else is supposed to inherit that castle, and he's plotting to kill them because, hey, listen, he's a, he's a mercenary, and that's what mercenaries do, they kill. So, um, you know, while we haven't gotten to see him really pass Tyrion's trial by combat in the book, you know, uh, right before Tyrion um, kills his father. In the show, we actually get to see him propositioned by Jamie Lannister to go to Dorne with the promise that, you know, when they come back from their mission, that he will be rewarded with a bigger castle and a more suitable wife to marry. Now, um, I've heard it speculated by another YouTuber and most of you probably know who I'm talking about, that uh, he might have actually been agent for Littlefinger. Um, now, while this is an interesting theory, um, I'm not exactly sure I buy into it, only because it would be way too, way too coincidental, you know, that he just so happens to meet Tyrion and Catelyn at the same time at the Crossroads Inn. Um, I don't think he could have been planted that perfectly, to, you know, honestly speaking. But it is an interesting theory. Uh, nonetheless, you know, his relationship with Tyrion over the course of these books and also the TV show uh, is one of the few that seem like a genuine partnership, even though he's only doing it for money for the most part. But, you know, listen, there are worse things. Um, in real life, right? So, hey look, you know what? Personally, I have no problem with Braun. He's doing what he's got to do to make a living, you know, and especially in the day and time in which he lived, where, you know, being born poor, unless you found a way to do something spectacular, probably meant that you were going to die poor as well. So, hats off to him. Sobran of the Blackwater. And, you know, him firing that arrow helped to defeat Stannis. So, you know, my hat's off to him. Get all the money you can get, man. And spend it while you're still alive. Anyway, you already know the deal. Rate, comment, subscribe, share, tell your friends, come back for more. Hey, send me some questions. I'd love to do a Q&A sometime. Anyway, that's been my time. Don Willie. I'm out.